it's a, it's a huge honour to have been invited also to find out that I'm the first black nurse to give this lecture. And, and what a month to find that out in Black History Month. Now, in summary, this is Mary Seacole, born in Jamaica in 1805 and died in London in 1881. And, and this summarises that she was a woman of many, many skills. Yes, nurse and doctress, which is what I'll be focusing on as a nurse. She was a herbalist of Creole medicine. As you'll see, like her mother, she was a boarding house uh, proprietor. She was also a cook, a traveler, a businesswoman. She was an entrepreneur. She ended her, her life uh, as a masseuse to the then Princess of Wales at Marlborough House. And she wrote her autobiography in 1857, which was a bestseller and went into a second edition. And this is one of the most poignant paragraphs that captured me when I first read Mary Seacole's autobiography. She talks about standing outside a house in Belgrave Square. This is the house of the Herberts, where she'd had this unsuccessful interview. Light was dimming. Did these ladies shrink from accepting my aid because my blood flowed beneath a somewhat duskier skin than theirs? Tears streamed down my foolish cheeks as I stood in the fast thinning streets. Tears of grief that any should doubt my motives, that heaven should deny me the opportunity that I sought. What I love about Mary Seacole is the way she overcame rejection. And this is an example for all of us, whether in our childhood, in our adulthood, our friends, our family have experienced rejection for whatever reason. She's talking about white Americans. And I do confess to a little. It's not unreasonable. I have a few shades of deeper brown upon my skin, which shows me related. And I am proud of the relationship to those poor mortals whom you once held enslaved. She's talking to the British readers now. 1857. Slavery was fully abolished in Jamaica in 1838, as an example. But it was not abolished in the United States until the end of the American Civil War in 1860. A cholera epidemic broke out. And there was a doctor and there was a dentist there. Uh, they, they were just overwhelmed. They couldn't deal with it. So and this is one of the reasons, another reason I like Mary Seacole. When she saw a need, she just rolled her sleeves up and got on with it. She took, her, she took command. She, she demonstrated leadership. And she was really well recognized particularly by the Americans, for caring for them during this dreadful cholera epidemic. So enamoured were they that they hosted a dinner in her honour. 